Welcome back, my followers. I'm your host, Ricky Knows, and this is another episode of No School Stuff. And how do we use Google on our Redmi K40 Game Enhanced Edition phone? For some reason, Xiaomi has decided that they are no longer allowing Google services to work on their Chinese variant. My question is, is there a workaround that problem? And I think I found a solution. So, sit back and let's discuss how you can use Google on your Redmi K40 Game Enhanced Edition phone. Here on Most Cool Stuff. All right, guys. So here is our Redmi K40 Gaming Edition phone. All right, so let's get started. So first, we're going to do is open it. As you know, I see, you see I have my Google search bar here. But first thing you want to do when you get the phone is go into settings, okay? Then you want to go to my device, all specs, and see the MIUI version? You want to double click this eight times so you can go into developer mode, okay? You say, no need, you're already a developer, okay? Then what you want to do next is, Type in me UI. All right, then you'll see this right here. All right. Turn on me UI optimization. Okay, you want to click this. So it goes to developer option. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom. Now, when you're at the bottom, you will see turn on me UI optimization. You want to turn that off. Okay, so originally it's like this. No, we want to keep it off, okay? Make sure you keep it off. All right, now, that is one. Now, if you're in China, make sure you have a VPN on, okay? You got to have a VPN. All right, now, so let's see. Next thing you have to do is you're going to have to side load, all right? Now, you're going to have to side load a Google installer, okay? So the Google installer will come right here. You'll run it. All right. Now the thing with Google installer, it usually stops at 86% when it's trying to down, uh, upload Google Play Store. All right. So don't worry about it. It's okay. Go out of this. All right. Now, here is your Play Store. Now, I sideloaded the Play Store. Now with sideload, all you gotta do is connect your phone to your computer and then just drop the APK onto your phone. All right. Uh, we also have Gmail. Now Gmail you can get from the App Store here. All right. So I'm from the Xiaomi App Store. If you just type in Google, all right, you see Gmail there, which is kind of weird because they don't let you use Google but you can get your Gmail app from there. All right, uh, same with YouTube. I sideloaded it from the plugging my phone into my computer and then just dropped the APK, APK into the phone. All right, so I see we have all this set up. Now the question is, once you do this part, does it work? All right, so for our Google installer, we turned it on, it got to 86%. Now by doing this way, remember this is our first method. Of using Google okay this is not perfect right here okay so as you can tell right here if we click Play Store nothing happens so it doesn't work I, I just kept it on so I could show you that it won't work and stuff if we go to Gmail all right it'll open up all right Uh, you can add an email. Now, technically, you can add Yahoo and other stuff, no problem. But if you go to Google and you click it, nothing happens, okay? That's okay. I'm just showing you the things that you'll run into if you try a certain way. But, which is kind of weird, by adding Google Installer, and you just have YouTube, all right, YouTube will work. Only problem is you can still watch YouTube videos and stuff, but the problem is 
you cannot sign into your account. All right, so you try to sign in, add an account, nothing, okay? But you can still watch Google. Uh, so we go to my channel, uh, no school stuff. See, you can see my channel, and you can watch the videos, no problem. All right, and that's if you use the installer, Google installer. So YouTube will work. Play Store won't. Gmail won't. Uh, Google Assistant will. Let's see. How old is Sean Connery? Sean Connery died on October 31st, 2020 at age 90. All right, see. How old is Pierce Bronson? Okay, so it still works. So Google, this Google Assistant will work. All right. Now, you might be asking, so how would you do your Gmail? Now, one way, if you want to use your Gmail, but you can't access Gmail app, is download another one. So I downloaded Yahoo, since I do have a Yahoo account. And then what I did is add my Gmail to my Google, my Yahoo account. And this allows you to access your Gmail with no problem. So that's a workaround, okay? If you need to get to your email, you can always download Yahoo or another one if it allows you to add Google Mail to it. All right, so that is our method one. Not the greatest, okay? Not the greatest, because you still won't have access to certain things. But, like download, how would you download games if the Play Store doesn't work? So, if you want to download games, all right, you're going to have to download APK Pure, okay? Download APK Pure. Now, you can either go to your browser and download straight, or you can also just grab the APK file and just drag and drop it onto your phone by using your computer, all right? So that is how you can get games or anything you want onto your phone. Now, you might ask, why did we turn off the Xiaomi optimizer? By turning it off, it allows you to download big file games onto your phone, like Call of Duty and stuff. All right, so that's why we did that part. So you can download anything you want. But let's say you still want to access your Google and sign into your Google Gmail, sign into your uh, YouTube account and so forth. What can you do? All right, so if you want to do that, what you need to do is download an app. So go into APK Pure. Uh, not that one. Let me go with this one. Go into APK Pure. There's two different versions, okay? I keep both of them on my phone. And what you want to do is hit type in Google Installer. Now, you'll see a lot of these Google Installer. Skip all of these. And what you want to do is look for this one right here. One play, and you see Google on it. That's the one you want to download to your phone. Okay, right here. One play, Google. That's what you want to add to your phone. All right, I've already added it to my phone. So we go here. You see it? One play. I also have one play 64 bit version. So when I do higher games, uh, so over here, it's called R Play. All right, so remember on the app, it's actually called One Play. But when you see the actual app, it actually says R Play instead. All right. Now, when you hit it, it brings you into a little realm. And as you can see, I am signed into my Google account. But if you hit anything, let's say the Play Store. So here's the Play Store. Hit the Play Store. And it will direct you to the Play Store. Now, I have used this before, so it's completely safe and stuff. Uh, so look, so you can see, as you notice, I am signed into the Play Store, and this is where you can download any games you want. Let's say you want to download Genshin Impact, all right, or if you want to download Call of Duty or any game you want. So it does allow you to use Google Play Store. And if you want out, you just come out, go back here, 
Go to YouTube. And as you can tell, I am signed into my account right here. You can see my little symbol up here. So I am signed in. See, right there, see, signed in. And this is a, which allows you to sign into your YouTube account with no problem. All right. Now, if you go back here, you can also do your Gmail. All right. And you can get your Gmail. Okay. So this is a easy workaround to get able to use your Gmail, use your YouTube, go to the Play Store, download games. All right. Now, what's the problem with this app? Now, this app will sometimes download games, but that's easy to take care of to your playlist. All you got to do is delete those, and there you go. All right. So this is kind of like your playlist. Here, it just shows a whole bunch of apps they're trying to make you download to your phone and try. So it's kind of like an advertisement app and stuff. But if you want to use Google on your phone and sign into your Google accounts, you're going to have to use this app for the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition. Uh, you can also do Genshin Impact. Uh, so if you have a Google account connected to your Genshin Impact, you can sign into your Google account. If not, I suggest that you just download it from APK Pure and just play it this way. All right. So I don't have any of these signed into a Google account. I could just go straight into my normal account with these games. All right. So that is a solution. All right. This way, right here, the first way I did, it allows you to use YouTube, but you can't sign in. You can't use Play Store. You can't use Gmail. Uh, you can, so, but it does allow you to use Google Assistant right here. All right. Hey, Google. All right. So it does allow you to use that. Uh, like I said, another workaround for your Gmail, you can use an additional one like Yahoo or Hotmail or anything. And long, as long as it allows you to connect your Gmail to that app, that's another way to look at your Gmail. Or the other thing, make sure you download APK Pure and get this app right here, RPlay. All right, but remember, it's not called RPlay. It is called OnePlay. So you want to look for the OnePlay app right here, OnePlay app. And by doing this way, guys, you can use Google on the Redmi K40 Game Enhanced Edition phone. I've been using it for about a week. It runs exactly like how I would run my Mi 11 Ultra. Uh, yes, you do have to take that extra step to click on this app in order to access it, but it's like a few seconds, okay? A few seconds will allow you to use all your Google apps, okay? All right, so there you go. That is the workaround to the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition, which does not allow you to install Google. So technically, you're not really installing Google. You're kind of doing a workaround by accessing an app that accesses the Google Play Store. So it's not technically on the phone. So technically, it's running it through the app. All right. Like I said, this app is completely safe. I've used it before on my Dragon Ball Z phone and had no problem with it. And that's the only reason I remember how to use this. All right. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And this is a workaround. So my say, if you bought the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition, this is a great workaround. But if you haven't, then I suggest don't buy the Redmi K40 Gaming Phone and wait for the Poco F3 GT, which is supposed to be the same thing, just under a different name, and supposed to have Google already installed on it. But these are for people who went out and bought this and thought, okay, I can install Google. Then you find out you can't, but you don't want to return the phone. You want to keep it. And this is the way to use your Google. All right. That's it. All right. So there you have it. The way I use Google on my Redmi K40 Gaming Edition phone. All right. Now, is it a perfect solution? No. Better if it's actually to use Google. But this is a workaround. So if you're one of those persons that ordered this phone, and you got it, and then you realize, hey, my Google doesn't work. This is a solution for you. All right? This allows you to still use your YouTube, check your emails, also use your Google Assistant. So it's a workaround. Like most days, 
and it probably would work on your Wowie devices too. So, if you have a Wowie device and it doesn't use Google, try this workaround and see if it works too. All right, if you like this video, hit those like buttons. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell for notification when I drop new videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button in order to join Nose Cool Stuff family. I'm your host, Ricky Nose. Until next time, my followers, be cool.